in the name of Allah who is the most beneficent and the most merciful. Assalamu alaikum to all of you. Today the topic in the discussion is X-rays. It is very important topic from every point of view. First of all, what are X-rays? X-rays, they are very energetic form of electromagnetic radiations of very high energy and frequency and with very short wavelength. And they are able to pass through those objects which are opaque to light. These are called as X-rays. Uh, now, we write its definition. X-rays are a very energetic form of electromagnetic radiations electromagnetic radiations of very high energy and frequency and frequency and with very short wavelength. The wavelength which is able to pass through those objects those objects which are opaque to light okay now i'll tell you about its wavelength its wavelength range from 0 0.01 to 10 nanometer its energy range from 100 electron volt to 100 kilo electron volt and its frequency range from 3 into 10 power 16 to 3 into 10 power 19 hertz okay these X-rays are also called as Ronjan rays or Ronjan radiations. Why are they called as Ronjan radiations? After a German scientist, which is uh, named Ronjan. He discovered these X-rays and 8 November 1895 He named it X radiations to signify an unknown type of radiations Ok Now we will discuss about its types What are the types of X rays on the basis of energy ranges, there are basically two types of X-rays. First one is high energy X-rays and second one is low energy X-rays. Okay. High energy X-rays, these are called as hard X-rays. And low energy are called as soft X-rays. So, if we will define it, then it will be what are hard X-rays, those X-rays which have high energy ranges. And this energy range is from 5 to 10 kilo electron volt. High energy but wavelength is low, but small wavelength. Small wavelength below 0 0.2 to 0 0.1 nanometer. Similarly, soft X-rays are those X-rays which have low energy ranges, okay, but high wavelength values, okay, these are called as soft X-rays. 
now we'll discuss about its production mean how x rays are produced okay for this purpose consider a vacuum tube x is a basically producing x ray tube and this tube is uh, what is x ray tube this is a vacuum tube which has two sides a cathode side and anode side means cathode side is negatively charged side and anode side is positively charged side it uses high voltage to accelerate electrons emitted by the hot cathode hot cathode is actually a filament a metal filament that is heated and when heated then it emit electrons these electrons are going to uh, towards positive anode means these electrons attracted towards anode and anode is generally a metal target okay so these electrons when hit the metal surface or anode surface then x rays are produced and almost 1% x rays are produced the remaining 99% is actually heat and this heat uh, heat up the anode and this heat is to be removed as early as possible okay production consider this vacuum tube one side has cathode other side has anode which is a metal target this is filament metal filament which act as which act as cathode it is heated up it will release electrons these electrons are applied with high voltage high voltage then they are attracted towards this anode this is metal target which act as anode electrons strike the metal surface and produce x rays and this metal is adjusted in this way that uh when the electrons hit then x rays are produced which fall downward and here is a window present here is a window from which x rays exit out this is window now the number of x rays which are produced depends on number of electrons released by the hot cathode and their time of release both of these uh, 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 determine the number of x rays which are going to produce okay metal target in most uh, x ray machines is actually a rotator means uh, it rotate and uh, continuously it uh, uh, allow x rays to exit out from the windows okay this is its production now we'll discuss its properties properties there are basically a uh, important property is actually ionizing radiation x rays are called as ionizing radiations because they have much energy they have much energy to ionize any material to ionize any material and also disrupt its bond that's why they are very harmful for living tissues and second property is that as they have much shorter wavelength shorter wavelength than visible light and this shorter wavelength is helpful to determine the exact uh, high resolution structure of uh, nano uh, particles means very small particles uh, whose uh, images are formed not clearly by a normal microscope they are uh, uh, they can be achieved through uh, by uh, in high resolution uh, by using x rays uh, in the same way they are also used in x ray crystallography uh, to determine the position of atoms in crystals to determine the position of atoms in crystals 
So these are basically the properties of uh, X-rays. Now we'll discuss what are its uses. The main use of x-rays is in medicine. A common application is x-ray machine which take photos of a patient's body. Uh, similarly, use of x-rays for the treatment is known as radiation therapy. And this radiation therapy technique is very helpful for, uh, for uh, cancer treatment, for management of cancers, malignant cancers in bodies. For example, high, uh, uh, high energy x-rays are used for treating cancers within the body. Uh, like uh, uh, internal body organs, they may be uh, brain, lungs, prostate, etc. And low energy x-rays are used for the treatment of skin cancer. Okay, first use is in medicine. It is used in medicine. Second is as a radiation therapy. It is used for treatment of cancers. for treatment of cancers and third one is that how it interact with our living tissues when x-rays uh, interact with living tissues then not all of the x-rays are absorbed because the body has soft tissues as well as hard tissues soft tissues of our body do not absorb x-rays and uh, uh, while high means in denser uh, molecules in our uh, body or we can say that the bones that are dense they absorb x-rays and appear as white areas with dark background okay and uh, similarly tumors that are pre uh, present in patients body these tumors are also high dense as compared to their surrounding living tissues and these tumors also absorb radiations and they appear to be shown as uh, uh, shades of gray color, light shades of gray color. In this way, uh, tumors can be detected in the human body. So, its use is in tumor detection. In human body. Next one is, we'll discuss its dangers. What are the dangers of x-rays? There are different dangers. First of all, because uh, x-rays are used for treatment of uh, cancers, malignant cancers within the body, they not only uh, destroy or kill cancer cells but also uh, kill healthy cells within the body. So first danger is that they kill healthy cells of human body. Second danger is that high dose of x-rays causes serious diseases. First of all, it causes radiation sickness disease. Radiation sickness. Next is if low doses are taken at intervals, then it leads to cancer. Means radiation induced cancer can be created in, a, in the human body. So radiation induced cancer can also be developed in human body. So the, this is basically an overall introduction of x-rays. I hope you will understand it. Thank you so much. Okay. Allah Hafiz.